Hi everyone, this is AR7 Crypto and today I'm making a special video for the block asset community about in-depth blockchain on-chain data analysis that will show us and really answer the question is block asset is actually one of the most undervalued tokens out there in the Solana ecosystem or maybe not or maybe the on-chain will say something differently. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show uh, four Dune dashboards that anybody who's interested in the block asset ecosystem can just go online and just use the dashboards themselves and see exactly what's going on on chain, what's going on on the blockchain with the block asset ecosystem. Is it outperforming all the rest or is it not? So let's dive into the video and let's find out. So let's start from dashboard number one. Dashboard number one, like there are lots of things in this specific dashboard, but I'm gonna cover the most important for, in my opinion, for anyone who's interested. So originally it was tracking primarily staking related stuff on the smart contracts on the Solana blockchain for block asset. And uh, this is basically what you can see, right? So for example, here in this, in this area chart over here, you can see that we're actually now at an all time high uh, of most block tokens being staked in the smart contracts okay so the previous high was back in march 2024 just before two major pumps that occurred on april 2024 and june 2024 so now once again we have a new massive surge a new all-time high in the total amount of block tokens that are being staked now another very interesting and important things that you can see right so if you scroll further down you can also see here the daily volume and the weekly volume that is occurring on chain for a block asset now if we scroll back up here back to the staking but to the volume of all of the combined stakers this is gonna be really interesting and in my opinion one of the more important things to track for any any block asset community member out there or anybody who's interested in investing in block and this is the following so over here guys you can see the total volume generated specifically with wallets on solana that are in interacting with the uh staking protocol right and you can see how much in total uh, for every single week how much were they buying how much were they selling <clears throat> and probably more importantly here you can see their net buying and net selling all right so for example here in april and here in june uh late june around the time when there was the big ufc announcement uh the price surged quite massively okay you had a big price surge from approximately seven to eight cents to uh 16 to 20 cents really in april and june and in both of these occasions at least so far these rallies were sold off so one of the biggest components of new inflation that is happening for blo the block token and really for any, most of the tokens out there in crypto, uh, that would be the staking, okay? So over here, you can see exactly what are the, all of the stakers aggregatively, okay? All of the stakers combined, how much are they net buying or net selling? So during these two pumps, they sold uh, 95,000 net back in april and back in the ufc deal announcement um they sold 336,000 back in on the week of june 24th which was the ufc deal announcement so you can correlate it to uh basically over here you can correlate it to uh the weekly volume right so june 20 yeah the week of june 24th will be here so the net buying was 91,000 dollars right but over here, for example, you see all of this massive volume. So all so three hundred and thirty-six thousand of that included the staking wallets. So without these staking wallets, um, back in late. June 2024, the block token would surge a lot, a lot higher and finish at a much, much higher price if you didn't have this massive selling from the staking wallet. So this is the first dashboard that is going to be very, very useful tracking what is happening with the staking and also what is happening in the total uh, decentralized exchange trading activity. Now for dashboard number two, okay, so for anybody who's not familiar, Block Asset has launched the Block Picks uh, product back in April, which is a free to play, free to play and free to earn betting ecosystem where anybody who can participate, they can just earn free 
token. Now on this specifically, the block asset team has worked really hard, really identifying what is the best ratio, right? To still keep generating new users to the block asset ecosystem and to uh, block picks and block bet products, but also of course emitting tokens, but not way too much. So this is what you can see um, in this uh, dashboard over here. And you can see how many block picks rewards were sent out in the week, in a week and how many tokens were sold on the decentralized exchanges also for every single week. And you can also see back in August, the Block Asset team, after a lot of analysis, they've learned uh, and they found a little bit of a better equilibrium of even less block token emissions compared to uh, the amount of emissions that they had before. So since August, the emissions uh, more or less halved, all right? compared to the previous block emissions for the block picks. And over here you can see how much inflation is generated via uh, block picks and also how much these exact wallets that are claiming the block picks rewards, how much are they selling or buying? Some of them of course are also buying. But here also once again, once again on the week of the UFC deal, also over here, the block picks related wallet have also contributed almost a million uh, tokens sold during this week. So that will be dashboard number two, right? So now we got the uh, staking inflation analytics over here. We got the block picks uh, <coughs> special product uh, token emissions analytics here. And then the next one is also gonna be very, very helpful for anyone who wants to know about the tokenomics of block asset. And that is of course, the total tokenomics, I would call it, and the block asset treasury. So <clears throat> the following dashboard is gonna show you the exact amount of the tokens that the team uh, holds at any given month, all right? So over time, of course, they hold less and less as new tokens are emitted into the market. So in the very beginning, of course, they uh, held the majority of the tokens, more than 300 million. And then of course, every single month, you can see it was reducing all the way to <clears throat> around 160 million tokens. So also from that, you can always infer the correct exact circulating supply according to the blockchain. So 160 out of 300, almost 320. Right now we have approximately 50% of the total supply of block is in circulation. That is of course much, much better than the very beginning of block when block price was a lot higher, but the circulating supply was just a lot, a lot lower. So over here, you'll be able to see for every single month, uh, how many tokens were uh, the block asset teams, the block asset team emitting into the market, or at least right now, as I'm, as I'm recording the video in September, uh, were they actually net positive right now? Recently, Block Asset launched their new uh, betting platform, which is called Block Bet, and this is generating a lot, a lot more of new revenue for the Block Asset team. And they're gonna be able to do buybacks uh, or also just generate new revenue, also in the form of block. So at least in September, this was actually the very first month so far that uh, the Block Asset uh, team wallets have had net positive inflows, right? Again, thanks to the BlockBit platform. So anyway, what you're gonna be able to see here, right, is exactly how many tokens were emitted every single month. I now over here, the next two are also very important because this will show you what was actually the average of the monthly emissions from the very beginning uh, in the token launch in December, 2021 and also the estimated run out date. When are the block asset team are estimated to run out completely from block? And you know, this is just basically purely based on math. This is not based on anyone making any promises or anything like that. This is just taking the average monthly emissions that were done since December, 2021. And it's just predicting if there's gonna be the exact same average uh, monthly emissions, when uh, does the block asset team is gonna run out of block, right? So in March it had 190 million, now it has 161 million. In September, obviously they are gonna run out. However, like some of you may know, thanks to the new block bet product, Block Asset is intending actually to buy back a lot of their tokens back 
adding it as liquidity, locking it as liquidity and burning the tokens. So eventually this actually can be kind of pushed back to 2028, 2029 uh, and 2030. Now, if that happens, it's just because block asset team are basically buying more token than emitting into the market. And this is why the team wallets control even more tokens than uh, how much they emit. But in the in the case of normal regular tokenomics in the uh, crypto world, if they're just going to continue emitting into the circuit in supply then eventually of course it will hit sort of the real month when it's gonna be run out so anyway based on everything that happened in all of the blocks history as I'm recording the video the current month when block asset team is expected to run out of block is gonna be in November 2027 and now also Magna is also gonna be important because Magna first of all includes the private sale uh, people that are claiming block now they are able to claim everything but not all of them have claimed claimed uh, all of the uh, tokens that they can claim. Uh, so anyway, over here you can see the average amount of how many tokens are claimed via the uh, <coughs> Magna smart contract that the Block Asset team is using to uh, have vested tokens, all right? And now, uh, lastly, also importantly, recently Block Asset has launched the BlockBet product and also uh, commenced the new UFC deal, which were much, much higher expenses than normal for Block Asset. And this is why uh, they had to make new OTC deals. And some of the OTC deals are being sent to the Magna smart contracts, which is vested, right? So when there's an over-the-counter trade between the Block Asset team and uh, OTC trader, the people who buy block, they may not necessarily have all of the block immediately. They may receive it vested in a few months or years. So anyway, this is the amount of block tokens that the team is transferring to the smart contract. And this is going to be new uh, expected block that is going to be claimed via Magna uh, in the future. So this is how many tokens are being claimed in the Magna contract from the vested uh companies or individuals and this is how much the team is transferring so all of that right will complete the full picture of the tokenomics but now guys we're gonna get to actually the most important dashboard in my opinion for anyone who really wants to see the real most important information for uh, the block asset ecosystem and that's of course none other than the total market cap and the total circulating supply and then we can also do some comparisons with some other top solana ecosystem or just some other cryptocurrencies that were equivalent to the block token and we're gonna see is block asset really underperforming or is it outperforming the rest of the market so guys, like I mentioned, this is the market cap and circulating supply. Why is that so important, right? Because most people, right, and rightfully so, it makes sense, when they're looking at the price of a token, they're looking at it uh, like this, right? So I have the price of block token here on chain uh, with the orange line chart, right? So this is more or less how the block token looks like, right? If we go to CoinGecko and we look at the block token, it will look pretty similar to what we have over here. However, like we mentioned also with the uh, tokenomics, right, uh, of block, similarly to all the other crypto tokens, uh, in the very beginning, you have very little supply. So you may have a much, much higher price because the supply is much lower and the team control most of the tokens. And for anyone who doesn't know, Block was launched actually at one of the absolutely worst times to launch a token, all right? So for example, if you really think about the most successful tokens in every single crypto bull market, that will like almost exclusively be new tokens that have launched not at the height of the bull runs, but actually in the bear markets or in the very beginning of the bull markets. So for example, in the current cycle, we have Dog With Hat that has launched in November 2023. And it's absolutely killing it because it was already launched during the beginning of the bull run. Bonk, for example, was literally launched at the very, very bottom of crypto in December 2022. And even if we look at past uh, success, Past success stories such as Solana, Solana launched back in March 2020, which was right after the co major COVID dump. Uh, again, one of the absolutely best times to buy crypto in general. So the most successful crypto tokens, especially in every single cycle, they are normally launching at the bear market or pretty much still in the somewhat beginning of the bull run, uh, like dog with hat. 
in November 2023, or maybe another example, Axie Infinity around October 2020. Now, to compare apples to apples, we're going to compare block asset to other cryptocurrencies that haven't been as fortunate in terms of launching their token at the bear market. Uh, however, <clears throat> of course, it can show us that the tokens that are performing good from the tokens that have launched in uh, the bull run, this is where we can find the next big gems because this is where we can know that the circulating supply in the case of block is already 50% out and it will not have the same challenges, right? So like we mentioned, this is the chart of block. So uh, even though over here in CoinGecko, it will say that the all-time high is 94 cents, that all-time high really lasted for uh, 2.3 seconds. <laughs> it's not really all-time high and uh, the liquidity was super low. Nobody really bought or sold much at this price. Uh, the real all-time high was more around uh, 50 cents for block, all right? So right now, block is down approximately 10x, just under a 10x. Uh, from its all-time high when it launched back in December 2021. Now, let's have a look on Star Atlas, which is the poster boy of the gaming world for Solana, a much larger token. So, the fully diluted valuation for Star Atlas is 71 million, and they have one more token called Polis, which is another approximately 70 million. So, the total of both of them is like 140 million. So, they are approximately almost a 10x higher than the fully diluted valuation of Block. <coughs> However, let's have a look over here, right on uh, Star Atlas. And like you can see, it also launched in 2021, and the token looks incredibly, incredibly worse than Block, all right? This is Block, this is Star Atlas. Now, even if we go more uh, specifically, right? Like, even if we go to Logarithmic and we try to see. So, <clears throat> Block token uh, bottomed here in December 2022, right at 1.5 cents. Um, and by the way, just to see what's going on, I don't even have to go logarithmic like I do with Star Atlas, right? But anyway, over here, <clears throat> the bottom of block was at 1.5 cents, December 2022. Then in October 2023, ma vast majority of the crypto tokens collapsed in October 2023, but the block token actually made a higher low here at the 2 cents. Now, during the last few months, once again, <clears throat> the crypto altcoins once again collapsed in a big way and as i'm recording the video at least right now <clears throat> block is still creating a macro higher low from the lows that it had in october 2023 and december 2022 now let's go and have a look at the poster child of gaming for the solana ecosystem actually a token i had like a lot fundamentally star atlas let's see how it's done so this is the bottom of the total crypto and also of block De December, November 2022. <clears throat> the price back then was 0 0.2. The price back then was higher than the current price right now. All right. And in October 2023, when Block made a higher low at 2 cents, <clears throat> Star Atlas made a lower low from the December 2022 lows. Now, most recently, August and September 2024, it basically still trades, trades within the same range of its all-time lows around September, October 2023. Block is around 2 to 3x higher than when it was back in October 2023. So guys, literally we got here the best gaming project in the whole gaming ecosystem of Solana, the absolute best of the best. It is underperforming block quite e extensively, <clears throat> okay? And it has suffered the same fate of all of the tokens that have launched at the end of the bull market in 2021, and they collapsed heavily. And in Star Atlas case, right, so the all-time high, the real all-time high, right, was around 17 to 18 cents. That was 100x higher than the current price of Star Atlas. So block's all-time high is 10x away, <clears throat> and Star Atlas, all-time high is 100x away from its all-time high back in 2021. Now, I think Star Atlas is really the best example, but I'm just going to want to show you just a few more tokens that I just remember that they literally launched in December, because like Star Atlas in a way launched even in a slightly better time, like in September, not the very end of the bull market like Block Asset did. Um, so anyway, if we compare to another kind of apple to apple, uh, Solchex, that was also a gaming project back in uh, uh, December 2021, you can see, like, it's down, like, I don't know how much, like, it's down, it's down 100%, <laughs> it's not even a 99.9%, it's down 100% from 50 cent to, uh, yeah, like, it's more than a thousand X less or something like that, right? And it is also launched in December 2021. 
Uh, Star Launch was another very nice project back in December 2021, but again, like uh, almost anything that has launched in the same month as Block Asset in the December 2021, they have literally been doomed to, to completely die. So um, <clears throat> the all-time high was also $20. Right now, it's literally a thousand x less two cents and like you can see it is kind of trying to do here here and there some pumps you know but like it's still a, uh, within the same lows and anyway it collapsed a lot more because there's just all of this tokenomics because there's there's a bear market and there's just so much of new token emissions that are coming out so the, the end of the bull market is absolutely the worst time to launch so looking at block Right, I'm not even in the logarithmic here. Uh, and you know, if we stop the logarithmic, right, looking at Block, this is Block, this is Star Atlas, a fantastic project, but like underperforming in a huge way, 100x less from all time high. Another project that has totally died, Soul Chicks. Blocktopia, another, uh, like that was supposed to be a competitor to the central end and sandbox. And over here at the highs, guys, like the fully diluted valuation here was literally $30 billion. It has also collapsed from. Uh, 12 cents or so to whatever number that is that was another major big big project in 2021 totally dead because it was launched at the height of the bull run so so far block asset is um, i'm outperforming absolutely massively just almost anything i'm aware of that has launched around the same times as block so like i mentioned the most important things that you can see in the last dashboard over here uh will be <clears throat> and excuse me, not the tokenomics, I'm meaning the market cap and circulating supply, you can see over here, all right, the amount of unique wallet addresses, okay? And you just see it higher and higher and higher, and you currently have the highest amount of the uh, total uh, amount of Solana addresses on the blockchain that hold the block token. Then another one, you can see how much more activity do you have now, right, in 2024, basically since the start of 2024, how much more activity you have here than in 2023, and even, again, early 2022, when the price was 30-something cents. So now, literally, at the five, six cents worth of block, we have more people transacting, right? Like, weekly active users means uh, unique address that has made any type of transaction with block either a very big transaction or a very small either a trade or just a transaction from one wallet to another this is what it means weekly active users and you can see we're consistently here at the 200s in the quiet weeks right i'm not even referring to the spikes which were also a lot a lot higher than any spikes that block has experienced before in the last bull run i'm referring actually to the quiet weeks right the quiet weeks have approximately 200 weekly uh users that are transacting and doing something with the block token on solana now in 2023 we were like in the double digits in uh late 2022 also in the bull uh, bear market we also had double digits even here in the quiet weeks in january 2022 it was like 102 and 116 but what was the price back then january 10th and january uh 17th it was around the all-time high it was 32 cents so <laughs> this answer you answers your question is block undervalued right now or overvalued right now? I will definitely let in the eyes of the beholder to answer anyone out there who's watching this video uh, to decide is block mm, is the block token undervalued or overvalued. And lastly, in this most important uh, dashboard, like I said, let's really see why all of that happens. How is this even possible? Why do we have a lot more users? Uh, but we have uh, a, a lower price, even though, like I said, it's a lower price, but it's like tremendously higher than anything else that has launched back in 2021. So for that, all we need to do is just click back on the market cap here and see the line chart of the market cap in blue. And then, guys, once you see this full, complete picture, you will understand the real situation of the block token and the real technical analysis, the real... Uh, I should say the real price action, price chart that is really showing you the real valuation of block and what is going on, right? So the blue one is the market cap and it shows you, it shows you the price according to the circulating supply, all right? So because the block token had almost no supply in the very beginning, similarly to all of these other collapsing uh, projects uh, from the last bull run, right? It had a much lower... Um, market cap right so at the very tops you can see the very tops of the last bull run 
for a uh, block in market cap was 7 million over here then over here it was the smash bros mint again 7 million then we you know collapsed into the bear market but came back in the beginning of the bull market once again to 7 million that was around february 2023 uh, and, and you can see over here, like the, already by 2023, the price was only 11 cents, but it made a triple top from the tops over here, right? So all of these were 7 million <coughs> market cap tops, but the price at the first time was 42 cents. Then there was, you know, circulating supply increased. Then the price was 29 cents. And then by here, the price was 11 cents. All right. Now. This is what will complete for everybody the full picture, why and how all of that is even possible. But anyway, the last thing <clears throat> that I wanted to show that is very, very important is back in December 2023, once block actually pumped only to nine cents in terms of dollars, uh, it made a new <clears throat> all time high at 10 million market cap. Now, the last two major tops over here in April 2024 and June 2024, uh, <clears throat> the new tops of the market cap and the new all-time highs like these were new all time real all-time highs for the market cap of block at 20 million they were much much higher than this here even though the prices uh the ever I, I know it went to like a little bit above 20 cents but the average price of the week was 16 cents more or less in both of these occasions it's a lower price than here but we have a lot more circulating supply so this is why uh, the market cap was tremendously higher here at 20 million. So now, most importantly, guys, after it collapsed two times from these two tops, you can see that it's actually holding the lows at 7 million market cap. And why that's super important? Because that was the prior triple top for the prior market caps, right? So if you remove the orange and you see the real technical uh, price action of uh, block you actually see that it's making new lows at the previous cycles tops and its new tops are 3x higher than uh, the valuations that block had at the last cycle so guys hopefully all of that completes all of the full picture right so like i said i'm gonna link in the description below all of these dashboards and anybody who's who just has access to the internet is going to be able to see uh, every up new updated blockchain data about staking, about the block picks rewards, about the tokenomics from the team wallets. And also, like I said, most importantly for me, what is the real market cap and what is the real price chart <coughs> that uh, block token has. So guys, thank you very much for being here once again. I was AR7 Crypto Channel and I wish you all guys a fantastic remainder of 2024. And of course, for the block asset community and anyone else who's watching these videos, I wish you guys an amazing post halving year, an amazing, fantastic 2025 year. And hopefully in the case of block, much higher than here, uh, 20 million market cap. Uh, and of course, in the rest of crypto too. So thanks again, guys. Have a fantastic week and a fantastic weekend ahead. And cheers as always.